Hi, YouTube family. We're gonna pick some veggies this evening and also update you hopefully on the challenges um, that Mark had going. So we'll see about that. There it goes. Update you on our baby kitty. Slick, he's growing even though he still seems like he's tiny. We think they're still like little tiny kittens, but I believe they're growing. So we're gonna pick some tomatoes and uh, try to update these challenges. Okay. All right, this is the um, <clears throat> bucket with the single seed challenge melon um, that's called melon that right there on the card. We have a tiny baby melon here and a tiny baby melon over here somewhere there. And the um, large one apparently it's gone. No fault of our own. The other challenge is this bottle, tomato in a bottle, which as you can see quickly um, dried out. I just picked this little, oh, this um, tiny little dried out looking tomato off of this bottle. So it did make some fruit, but maybe in Ireland it works well in small containers, but not in Arkansas. It's pretty dry. Alrighty. Um, I think this is a tomato that is a tomato clone from something. I don't know what this is about, but I think it had something to do with Boone, Child, and and Mark in this tomato. But it says um, something number one, and it's in this pot, and it's growing um, through here. Looks like it's doing okay, but there's no blooms or fruit on it yet, but it's alive and I've been watering it. So that's something. Here's an update on the um, greenhouse. Cats are laying out in here, hanging out, watching us while we do this stuff out here. All right, um, the other thing that Mark mentioned, um, previously like three weeks ago is these uh yard dog tomatoes we're just letting them kind of be planted in the yard and this cardboard was here to try to let them crawl over it it looks like they're kind of doing that but looks like we got some growing here so that's good i'm just gonna pick that pick that one and go ahead and pick this one too and uh, other plants don't really have anything on them yet. Have a few blooms, but that's it. A lot of spider webs, apparently. It's pretty the way it's grown over the arch. It's like a green arch. Yes, I am. No, are these All right, let's check this tomato out here. Um, this one is uh, has something to do with John from Will It Grow, and. Um, Honestly, it was some kind of tomato challenge and it's a black creme tomato. Looks like it's doing pretty well in here um, in this big tub with the carrots. Carrots are surrounding it. Um, I wonder if, let's just see. I don't really know how you get carrots out, but. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. It does not look like a carrot that I wanna eat. <laughs> All right, moving along, we have the um, Brazilian. These are actually not Brazilian. These are Portugal hot peppers and they're growing pretty slow, but they're, they're growing, but no blooms really or anything yet. And then we have a, um, I don't know, maybe that's the Brazilian pepper back there. It's still alive and stuff, so we'll count that as a win. And um, unfortunately, this is a jungle. We have a little problem with yard tools um, as far as like none of them work. 
weed eater, mower. Um, anyway, so these are the Jerusalem artichokes. They are growing tall, taller than anything. I honestly don't know what a Jerusalem artichoke is, but we're going to say they're pretty happy and um, doing well. Strawberries. Got a, I don't know which ones are which. There was some that we got from some other YouTube people like um, Homestead Aquarius. Yours are in here somewhere, but I don't know which ones are which. Maybe Mark knows. We'll ask him when he gets back. As you can see, we have a bit of a issue with things that are just wanting to grow really fast around here. But we are keeping up with it as best we can since we're only here for part of the time of the day. Heidi, what you doing? Hey, pretty girl. All right, the uh, walking onions, it looks like putting the um, screens over them so that they are a little bit protected from the animals. It's kind of helped. I don't know if they're actually walking or not, but they're still green, most, most of them. So that's good. Um, Chloe let the ducks out so they could get a little exercise and uh, they seem to be back up here in their original little area where they used to live when they were babies. <laughs> Finding stuff? All right. Good girl. Heidi, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. She's like, it all looks the same. It's all like weeds. It all looks the same. Right, girl? Yep. Mm -hmm. Looks like we got some tomatillos in the jungle. Trying to keep an eye on those until they get um, ripe and ready to pick. No, oh, Luna, where have you been? You've been wallering in the dirt somewhere, haven't you? Yep. Dirty dog! She is such a good helper. Something bite you? No. I know where you get the green stuff though from and the yellow stuff on your skin. Yeah. It's from the squashies. Yeah. She's filthy. Luna, what are you doing? Just peeing. Okay. <laughs> that big one doesn't look very healthy. No, he doesn't. Around his eyes and stuff. Right. Alright, we're gonna see how much this weighs. Mmm. All right, um, that is 16. Okay, so uh, one of the channels had a challenge, um, a sunflower challenge, and I think it was maybe Nick's allotment. I'm not sure. Um, but this is our sunflower patch that turned out really nice. Um, beautiful honestly these little ones at the front oh I'm tripping over corn these are the short ones and then got this one up here that's up in the sky and they all have several blooms on them all the different colors of yellow orange I like that butter yellow one right there they're so pretty. So pretty. So this is our sunflower patch. I believe we met the, whatever the challenge was, we did something. Okay, so out here in the winter squash area, we've got 
some things happening. There's something here. I don't know what that is, but it's white. Winter squash looking. It really looks like a white. Um, what is that word I'm looking for? Pumpkin. Here you go, sis. Okay, you bring it to me. <laughs> okay. Please don't flop the knife around him. Because. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks. I'm And, um. There's also, uh, something, where did it go? Uh, these, oh, there they are, right there. I'm gonna pick these, I think that's the ones that he said to pick. Oh, man. So we still have some pretty flowers, a lot of zinnias. These tomatoes are doing all right up here for now. Lots of blooms. Um, got pretty zinnias here. They just, they grew so tall and the winds and rains get to them a little bit, but it's still a lovely, beautiful display of color. And uh, let's see, you got basil. And uh, these flowers. We also have these uh, little rhubarb plants that I'm planning to up pot at some point soon and uh, plant out by the chicken pen. Alrighty. 14. So the other one was 16 and that one's 14. Okay. Here, or let's do that with these in there because I didn't weigh those a while ago. So we had 16 and now 20, 20. Okay. Yep. All right. YouTube family that wraps up our little quest for picking veggies tonight. And, um, <laughs> and the challenges that, uh, Mark had and, uh, we'll see y'all later. Take care. Love Bye. you. Oh, like, and subscribe if you can. Yes. <laughs>